Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to talk about how you can use collage, which is basically a collection of drawings to make your sketches or pages look more interesting. Let me show you some examples of sketch collages from other artists before I proceed on with my demonstration. This book, by the way, is An Illustrated Life, one of my favorite books that relates to sketching. And let's take a look at this artist. Seamus Heffernan. For these two pages, we can see different elements. There is one big sketch here, and the smaller elements are scattered around here with the white space he filled in with text and captions. Uh, for some artists, they like to paste things onto their pages as well. For example, you can paste name cards, you can paste receipts. Um, basically just to give you an idea of where you sketch that or maybe if you paste receipts maybe you can draw the things that you buy so um, different elements combine together to become collage here's another example um, drawing of people different places you merge them what I like about collage is uh, you can blend the sketches seamlessly into one another so and you can connect different uh, places different ideas together let's flip to another artist this is rama huges so you can just draw a collage of portraits like he does and this is kathy johnson can you see how she blends two drawings together seamlessly this is the dog Appears that he's looking out of a car window and then it blends into the foliage of this garden here and there are some tags here this chair is very interesting because it comes out of this um, particular drawing because it juts out a bit to the bottom here into the white space and here we have a small animal that juts out from the bottom of the page and there is this background here that goes uh, on the edge of this page. So this is a very nice collage, a collection of different drawings. Lots of beautiful sketches and artists featured in this book. Here's another example. A big drawing and some smaller drawings. I think it's good to mix up the size of your drawings so it gives them, uh, gives the composition more variety and makes it more interesting and it's okay to draw something onto the white space and fill it up later on there are more examples this book has over 260 pages so there are a lot of examples you can check out and there is a lot of text a lot of interesting stories uh, by the artists on why they like sketching so very good book you can also use collage to um, document things for example this book is the creative license by Danny Gregory on this particular page there is this topic on fishing in Manhattan so with this I'm not sure what paper he used here but it's a piece of yellow paper and on it he drew all the people who fished and also the types of different types of fish the names for the fish and also little captions to describe um, the fishing experience and who these people are so you can use collage to document an experience as well you can use almost any subject for collage for example if you go to an airport you can make a collection of sketches to talk about your journey to the airport when you are there you can draw the shops what they are selling or what you ate for lunch before your flight draw who you are with or the different types of planes that are at the airport and that's just for the airport um, today i will draw a bazaar and things related to a bazaar so this is what i got when i type in the search term now these um, photos they don't really have any focus for me because they are all very busy um, all the shops here they sell a lot of things but i just want to focus on something 
when you are drawing I think it's good to have a focus a main focal point where people can look to so I, I'm going to pick this picture because I see this shopkeeper standing alone with all the spices that he is selling it's quite interesting so this is going to be one of the sketch that I'm going to include in my collage I'm just going to do a very quick sketch here of the guy and the things that he is selling So he sells a lot of spice. Now I have an idea to include some of the names of the spice that he is selling. There is too many for me to draw so I'm just going to let this um, part here fade into the white of the pages. All these little signs I can't really see them very clearly from this particular photograph. However, if I'm actually drawing on location I might go up close to the sign to see what's written on the sign just to get the names of the spices so for example if I actually went up to um, the signs I could basically just draw a list out the names of the spices that are being sold there spices sold so you can just put the names of all the individual spices or I can do a pull out to um, basically highlight one of the spices like the most popular spice that he sells there I'm not sure what I'm actually drawing right now perhaps it's some sort of a nut but this is how I would do it basically just pull out something to highlight and perhaps give this a name some nut and write some text on what uh, this nut is good for what it's usually used for how it's used to cook certain dishes and things like that and perhaps this bazaar uh, there is a name for this bazaar weird bazaar and do some very fanciful uh, typo design and this is a uh, part of my sketch collage uh, perhaps I want to give it some context like where is this particular shop? How big is this place? Um, I can do that as well. If I'm on location There will be a lot of uh, shops like this So I just need to look for a composition an angle that gives me some sort of reference to where this shop is For example, let's say in this particular photograph. Let's say if the shop is somewhere around here I can actually just draw this uh, particular scene so there are a lot of people here just now I let my sketch fade into the white of the page now I want to draw these people um, here onto the page onto this white space here so I can just blend the sketch very seamlessly even though these two photos are totally um, separate they are taken at different locations but you can with us with drawings you can do basically just about anything so I'm just going to blend this guy here there's another head here another one here and now I can draw in the shops on the side remove this sketch here so they can see I can draw basically the shops on the side and also the this this part of the building here the interior the roof or the ceiling a lot of people so I'm not just I'm not going to draw every single person I know that my eye line I think the person who took this photo probably held the camera high up that's why he can see all the heads of the people these are the signages for the shops single perspective point is somewhere around here I can see a flag this is actually a turkey flag which is quite interesting so and I want to draw use that later on in my sketch so this is the perspective point 
and all the lines they are going to uh, converge at this point so it's easy to do that once I have the perspective lines and I can write something about the place here this is a bazaar in Turkey and just write some notes here about how crowded this place is who are these people are they tourists or are they uh, locals what is this place unknown for what is it popular for is it always this clouded what time does it open the opening time I can put there the opening time just in case you want to visit or if your friend wants to visit this place in the future you can give him or her the relevant information and of course finally the date uh, of this particular sketch which I'll put it here so they can remember when you sketched it and let me just close this so this is an example of a very quick collage that I drew um, as I'm drawing each part I could actually finish the ink sketch and then color it or I can color it at the end but I think it's going to be much easier if you actually draw it there and then and then color it on the spot because if you don't take a reference photo there is no way you can remember what the colors are so in this case uh, if I'm actually there I would color on the spot perhaps find some place to use watercolor but you can see that the place is very crowded so probably I don't have any space for me to sit down and color or place for me to use my watercolor now for this sketch I'm just going to use black ink to color some parts to give them extra contrast such as this part here this guy was wearing very black pants so after I apply the ink straight away you can see the contrast uh, it, it, comes very strong and using black ink like this or if you have a Pentel brush pen that gives you black ink you can use that as well that's very convenient especially in this sort of situation this guy was wearing a black coat earlier on I can maybe I'll use black ink for this uh, letter these letters some shadow to give this um this nuts some shadow this is the ceiling having a brush pen around can also be quite convenient so a brush pen with different inks inside can give you different tones straight away you don't have to mix watercolor because it's inconvenient at times but this brush pen it gives you the ability to use it when you are actually standing and sketching so it's quite convenient I like this the ink flow for this brush pen is um, not very good sometimes you do need to press it a lot to get the ink out and that's it for this particular sketch That's all for today's demonstration. This is just a very quick collage drawn with pen and ink and ink wash. If I were to draw this again, I would probably add watercolors instead. But it really depends on uh, whether or not I have the space to use watercolor if I'm drawing on location. This is a technique that is very easy to use. You can just draw different smaller elements and blend them with other uh, subjects that you are going to draw later so for me I can draw people I can draw the shop and then I can blend it to the location if I want things to be highlighted I can draw them big and put some text around it I can also use text to lay out to put them into the white spaces to describe the place so this is a really versatile technique and it also looks very good I don't use this technique very much uh, often but after this tutorial I think I'm going to use it more often because I think it really looks nice and it's very good for decorating your pages. 
thanks for watching and see you in the next video remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so for more sketching tutorials our product reviews bye